Hi Aries, welcome to your bi-weekly reading. This is for the period of October 15th through the 31st. This is a general reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. To those of you who have purchased readings and made donations to my channel, I love doing this for you. Now, I did want to point out that I had so many requests to do the extended readings for the soulmate twin flame situation. So what I've done is created a platform. It's the soulmate twin flame reading. You will, I uh, will post a preview on YouTube for you. And then I have the extended version trying to capture as many different situations, scenarios as possible. Um, now, you have to go into the about section to click on the link to switch over to Vimeo or you can go into Vimeo and look me up that way as well. Um, but I can't figure out how to get the link on the preview, the Soulmate Twin Flame preview, um, right when you open up that uh, video. If anybody knows how to do that and would love to share that information with me, I'd be so appreciative you could send that to my email. If you would like a personal reading, you can go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com. At the top, you will see a link, uh, a tab that says Readings, another one that says Guidance. You can select what is appropriate for you, pay for it, and it tells you exactly what I need in order to conduct the reading for you. Okay, so Aries, what we have... <clears throat> When it comes to career and finance, some of you have been working very, very diligently um, doing what you love. You're in a career that you love is what I'm hearing. And you have a new offer coming in. Um, this offer for this group is a brand new offer that's coming in where you believe that it can actually create a wonderful foundation for you and your family life. You're being guided to to go within. The Hermit card is about going within. We have the Six of Pentacles, Empress, Four of Wands, and the Hermit card. So you're actually being guided to go within and to follow your gut. You know whether or not this new opportunity is going to lead you in the direction that you want to go. What you're doing is something that you truly love doing, and you're very hopeful and this opportunity is a wish come true for some of you. Now for others of you, you are embodying the energies of the Empress and looking at what you do. The Six of Pentacles is about being in balance, right? It's about reciprocity. So you're looking to make sure that you are getting back from the company, the organization, what you put into it. This person, the Empress, and I'm hearing for this group of you, you're embodying this energy. It's important for you to stand up and speak your truth because you want a solid, grounded foundation for your family, an abundant life. And your inner guidance, your intuition is going to help you lead to that. Now, the star card is about hope. It's about faith. It's about wishes coming true. But we have the king of swords and the knave of swords. So some of you could be dealing with an, uh, an air sign or the energies. The, whoever you're dealing with is the energies of an air sign where it's more uh, thought processing versus action oriented. You may be stuck in your thoughts. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. Um, you're being guided to stand up and speak your truth in this situation. For others of you in a very similar situation, these uh, ruminating feelings of being stuck, you need to come forward. You need to speak your peace, okay? And you can only do that once you really internalize to see if this is the career. Is this really what I want? And then you're being guided to stand up and speak your truth. For others of you, you have an opportunity coming. And this opportunity coming is your wish 
It is what you've been waiting for. It is going to create such a beautiful foundation for you. You will feel as though you have the energies of the Empress where you can work, you can take care of your family, you can, everything's gonna come into balance. It's all about balance, this new opportunity. So it's important for you to speak your truth. It's important for you to listen to what they have to offer. Because this new offer is what I'm hearing for this group of you. It's not going to be on the table very long. So it is something you need to act fast on. Now when it comes to love, some of you are in a relationship that is out of balance. It's, it's not fulfilling you. It's not... It's not what you thought it would be. You're wishing and hoping that it will transform, that it would change is what I'm hearing. And you're stuck in your thoughts. How do I make this happen? How do I make this happen? You're putting out more energy and effort than the other person is. And you're actually being guided to go inward. Listen to your gut feeling. The universe, the angels will communicate to us. They communicate to us through our dreams, which this can indicate that as well. So you may be getting guidance from above through your dreams, but you're going to know whether or not you need to cut this person out of your life. You know, the King of Swords knows exactly who resonates with them in their life, what type of person, what type of situation, and they choose. They're very choosy about who they have in their world, okay? Who they bring on as a client or who they have in their love life. They're very, very uh, good at cutting out anybody that doesn't resonate with them. So you're being guided to go internally. You're going to hear the answers through your dreams and as a result of that, you're gonna have an inner knowing. Do I walk away from this situation or do I stay? And this is not a twin flame relationship that I'm talking about. Now, regarding a twin flame situation or soulmate situation, it is out of balance and you're being guided to actually look at this. Is this what I want? Is this truly what I want? Do I need to cut this person out of my life? This person may have uh, made an offer to you that was, um, not accepted and I'm hearing you did not accept the offer you thought they were the person of your dreams but it's not looking like they are you want to create this um, union with them you you want marriage four of wands is about marriage it's about celebrating it's about family coming together creating a, a base foundation to have a beautiful long-term relationship right and you're not trusting what's going on with your soulmate. Something's amiss. Something's out of balance. Something doesn't feel right. So you're ruminating in your thoughts. What's wrong? What's going on? What's, what's going on here? Uh, you may want to take a look at the, the weekly um, soulmate twin flame journey for that. And then for others of you, you have an offer coming in that you're not sure if you want to take it. You've been praying, asking, hoping. This is not the soulmate twin flame journey. This isn't brand new person that's coming in and they're, <laughs> what I'm hearing is you're scared. You're actually afraid to stand up and speak your truth because of the way that they presented it. This is a message coming in this is a message that can be very hasty, meaning it's um, the other person is equally afraid as you. <coughs> Excuse me. So when they offer you this offer, this new beginning to move forward and create a stable union together, even though they're the person that you wish for, something's not right. And the way that they're communicating it is is bothering you now the card that came out for romance is codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so for some of you the reason you need to do some internalization regarding a love situation is because it is out of balance and 
perhaps codependency is it. So if you're dealing with a person that has any kind of addictions, and and I mean, it's not just drugs and alcohol. We're talking, okay, shopping. It could be uh, pornography. It could be watching obsessive television. It could be gambling. It can be any kind of addiction. And one of the things that I, I believe is related to codependency is being trapped in negative thinking. So for those of you trapped in negative thinking, either your partner is or you are. This is a form of codependency as well. It's an addiction. Negative, 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 okay? And you're being guided in your dreams. You may be getting messages, but this is about hope. This is about faith. It's about healing. It's about growth, spirituality. So for some of you, this is pertaining to a soulmate scenario when it comes to the codependency side. You could be enabling your partner to uh, continue with this negativity you need to stand up for your ground stand up for yourself act like the Empress okay the Empress man or woman is a person who knows what they want this person knows what they want they know how to get it they're very create creative they're very full of love they're very well balanced in their life by standing up and speaking your truth you can cut through the crap and you can really get to the root of this and, and help your partner stop the codependency. This can be helping other people in their life. They could be enabling other family members or their own children. But there is a reason this codependency card is here and you're being guided to go within. You're being guided to ask the angels to help you through this situation. So I do hope this helps you and I wish you a wonderful next two weeks, Aries. Uh, please check out your moon and rising sign as well and pull from all three what is applicable for your life. Much love.